Jair Bolsonaro will be the next uh, president of Brazil, uh, starting from 1st of January 2019. He, he is from an extreme uh, far-right party and uh, he has a very conservative uh, values and uh, an authoritarian tendency. His uh, main uh, goal uh, were to fight uh, violence and criminality and corruption and 55% of Brazilian voted for him just to express uh, a disappointment towards traditional party. So basically it was an anti-establishment uh, vote. Um, for the economic program we do not have very detailed uh, um, measure but because the program was is very uh, is very concise, but we know that uh, he is going to be um, pro-business, I mean his economic program is going to be pro-business with full of pro-business measure like uh, liberalization and uh, privatization, deregulation. And the idea is to have a country with a, a, a diminished role for the state in the economy and uh, an increased law for the market, which is something that really Brazil uh, uh, needs because now, uh, for example, doing business in Brazil is a very <laughs> tough uh, thing, is one of the country in which is more complicated, one of the big country in which is more complicated doing business. And the, uh, also the role of the state is in some sector is really uh, is, uh, too important. So if the policies are going to be carried out in a proper way, for example, if the privatization program is going to be correct, not creating um, private monopoly, but substituting public monopoly, for example, and if the regulation is not extreme, for example, in the uh, environmental sector, which is a crucial, not only for Brazil, but for all the world, so if we are not going to see a really deregulated uh, economy, but still uh, with good and strong uh, pro-competitive policy and uh, in, uh, with policy in defense of consumers, then uh, we could uh, have a more modern Brazil, uh, more competitive Brazil, and we could see an increase in investment, both from Brazilian sources and from foreign sources, and we could see a, a, a country which I, it's a big as Italy, so it's one of the biggest economy in the world, uh, going back to high growth rates. And uh, we have to remember that in 2015, 2016, the country had a deep recession. So now it's back to a positive growth rate, but still very low, and uh, it still had to, re to regain the uh, loss that uh, the country had during the, the recession. However, if the, um, the, the policy, I mean the pro-market and pro-business policy are going to uh, do to, in a wrong way, uh, then we could have a country with a higher inequality, with a country with a high problem of environmental problem, with a higher rate of deforestation, all things that we don't like, to, we would, wouldn't like to see in a country which already is uh, very unequal and uh, a country which is very important for the environment worldwide.